global stocks ticking higher today amid signs of easing uh, tensions between the U.S. and China. China says it is going to exclude U.S. soybeans and pork from additional tariffs. We are, going, we are awaiting retail sales data at 8.30 a.m. Eastern this morning. Joining me right now is Payne Capital Management President Ryan Payne. Ryan, it's great to see you. Maria. So rates at rock bottom levels, China and U.S. uncertainty in terms of deal, a global economy that's slowing. How do you invest? I mean, I couldn't be more excited right now to be an investor. <laughs> <laughs> I think okay. you have everything kind of the winds at your back right now. And I think the low interest rates are a big thing. The stimulus that that's bringing. I mean, if you saw how many companies last week were issuing new debt to refinance old debt just to bring their financing costs down was like the most since 1973. That's going to have such a positive effect on earnings. I mean, if you look at the Blackstone, uh, Blackstone Group specifically, they would have reduced their debt by like half, like 50 percent. They were borrowing at over 5 percent. Now they're down to like around 2.5 percent a lot of their debt. That's going to be amazing for profits. Dagan, do, do you think this is an opportune time for Treasury Secretary Mnuchin to come out and say, we're going to refinance the debt? We got rock bottom rates. We're going to refinance the debt. Yes. Expletive, yes. It's too early for a I'm just wondering <laughs> double L hockey, H-E hockey, double L hockey stick. Um, yes, it absolutely is. No, and I mean, I, you would think, right? I we'll want see. to point out that so the Dow's on track for eighth straight, it's eighth straight day of gains. At the same time, longer term interest rates have gone up. So the 10 year Treasury's gone up from 1.44% to almost, uh, yesterday it closed at 1.79%. Can that continue though? If you see it, at what point do in stock investors, as they did last year, start wringing their hands about higher long term rates? I think it's coming. I mean, that's a good point. No one's talking about that right now, but you know, long-term rates did come up quite a bit in the last week, right? Like 1.7 percent, like you said. Um, I think that trend could continue, which means there's probably inflation, and that would make me very nervous as a bond investor right now because bond prices go down when interest rates go up. Stimulus across the world. Do you think that tells us that we're looking at a slower economy or a recessionary economy? I think we already know we're in a slower economy. I don't think it's, it's a secret that uh, Europe has been slowing down for a long time. But I think recessionary is probably too drastic because the fact that manufacturing has slowed down in Europe, yet those economies have held up relatively well, mm. is a very good sign. So if we get a trade deal, that could be a phenomenal for Europe. Yeah, for sure. All right. So yeah. the IPO fever, office space company, WeWork, choosing to list its shares on the NASDAQ. Now we know ahead of its trading debut later this month. The company also announcing that it's going to be appointing a lead independent director by the end of this year. Another governance change. Uh, no member of CEO Adam Newman's family will sit on the company's board. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 good. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, that's good. I mean, I mean, how much stock has he sold already? That's not a good sign for the company when you're, you know, your president, your CEO is selling his stock, you know, in droves. That's not a good sign. So, I mean, all of these signals around WeWork, should we be raising red flags and saying, look, they have made so many mistakes, I don't want to touch it? Or do you think that the governance problem are behind. I mean, what do you think? What do you, how do you look at this situation? I think you're a very bold investor uh, to, to, to buy any of these IPOs at the IPO, and I think this is just indicative of how high a lot of these IPOs have been priced. I mean, Beyond Meat up over 500 percent. It's mm. losing money. And I, mean, I think WeWork's lost like $3 billion in the last three years. I mean, you're really, it's like a wing and a prayer yeah. to buy a lot of these and, 